Internet Services Internet stands for International Network. Internet is the amazing gift of technology. It is the Internet which makes it possible to connect with the rest of the world anytime and from anywhere. Internet is the network of networks. Internet is the worldwide network that links together millions of computers. Need of the Internet When we are working on a single computer, we are unable to share any information from any other computer. To make it possible to share the data and information, we connect the computers through a network. When the computers are connected to networks around the globe, then it is called the Internet. Internet Facilities The Internet has made the world a small place. It is useful to us in different ways. It provides us several facilities. Email, Electronic Mail and Chatting These facilities make it possible to send and receive messages from any part of the world within seconds. Education With the help of the Internet, it is easy to get information on any topic from the different sources or website. We can also know about different types of education and career opportunities. Online Booking It is now possible to reserve seats in any train or airline and even the hotels etc. using the Internet. Online Shopping you can purchase various products like books, clothes, gift items through internet. Information We can read newspapers and magazines published in different parts of the world and get news from all over the globe. Banking Various banks are now providing the facility of accessing and operating the bank accounts using the internet. There are different ways to connect to the internet like dial-up, broadband and wireless network. Dial-up networking Before configuring the system for the internet, you must have a modem properly installed and configured to perform these steps. Click on this PC icon on the desktop. This PC window opens. Click on Dial-up or Broadband Networking icon. In the Dial-up or Broadband Networking window, click on Set up a new connection icon. The new connection visit starts. Type the name for the computer you are dialing. For example, Kriti. Click on Next button. In the next window, enter your ISP area code, dialing number, and country code and then click on next button. This last window shows the name of the internet Kriti entered by you in the first window of the wizard. Click on finish button. An icon with the name Kriti will be added in the dial up networking window. How to use internet connection. After completing the internet connection wizard Double click on this PC icon on the desktop. Click on dial up networking icon. Double click on the icon Kriti. Connect to dialog box opens. Enter the username and password provided by the ISP. Click on connect button to connect with your internet server. With dial up connection, you establish a connection and use it for a limited time period. While using a broadband connection, the connection disconnects on shutting down or disabling the network. Broadband networking Broadband connection is a high speed connection with very good speed of connectivity and data transfer measured in megabytes per second, Mbps. Getting connected with internet we require some equipment to connect our computer with internet. Computer, our personal multimedia computer. Browser, 
Internet Explorer, Chrome, Mozilla, etc. Modem, a device. Telephone or ISDN line. Any BSNL, MTNL, Airtel, etc. Modem. Modem stands for modulator and demodulator. It is an electronic device that allows computer to exchange information over telephone or ISDN lines. The word modem is derived from a combination of the word modulate to change digital signal into an analog signal and demodulate to convert an analog signal into a digital signal at the receiving computer. Telephone or broadband connection Computers that are the part of internet communicate through telephone or ISDN lines. The data is transferred through telephone or ISDN line. Wireless networking A wireless network is a flexible data communications system implemented as an extension to or as an alternative for a wired network. Wireless networks use radio frequency RF technology to send and receive data over the air. It does not use wires or cables. Wireless media is also known as unguided media. Type of wireless networks There are three types of wireless networks. Wireless wide area network Wireless local area network Wireless personal area network Wireless wide area network WWAN In wide area networks the computers are far apart and are connected by radio waves. One example of wireless WAN is networks provided by cell phone carriers. There are voice plus data networks. GSM and GPRS are examples of such wireless networks. You would use WWANs when reach is the most important aspect of your solution and speed is less important. Reach is important if you are providing wireless solutions to the public at large. For example, a company wants to give its employees wireless access to its corporate data, whether they are in the office, across town, out of town or in some cases in other countries. Wireless Local Area Network WLAN Wireless LANs like wired LANs have a finite coverage area. They wirelessly connect computers in a defined coverage area like a hospital, a university, an airport or a commercial office. They are designed for a certain set of people in mind. For example, doctors and technicians in a hospital, students and teachers in a university or office staff in a commercial setup. Wireless Personal Area Network WPAN WPANs have a very small coverage area and also relatively slow speed of data transfer but they consume very little power. Hence, they are preferred for connections and data transfers in low powered handheld devices where battery life is very critical. WPAN when used together with WLAN or other wireless networks can provide great advantages. Netiquette Don't give out personal information such as your address, telephone number, parents' workplace address, or name and location of your school without your parents' permission. Always talk to your parents so that together you can set up rules for going online. Don't respond to any messages that are mean or in any way make you feel uncomfortable. Don't ever send your picture or anything else to anyone online without first checking with your parents.